many, Nepal conjures up images of Mount Everest, Buddhist monks and hippies seeking a Himalayan high. But this next story shows another side of Nepal, a place recovering from a decade of civil war in which Maoist rebels recently brought down the monarchy. It faces the age-old problem, how to integrate former adversaries into a single army. Peace has returned to Nepal. The streets of the capital once again hum with traffic. Merchants and schoolchildren go about their daily routine carefree. The brutal civil war between Maoist rebels and the National Army ended in a 2006 ceasefire, followed by elections last spring. The new coalition government has since abolished the long-standing monarchy and pledged to work together, but the situation remains fragile. Today, more than 23,000 former Maoist guerrillas are still living in camps supervised by the United Nations, whose mission is set to expire in July. According to the terms of the peace agreement, those judged to be eligible must be integrated into the National Army. But hardline generals and opposition lawmakers question the Maoists' loyalties, arguing that integration would amount to an army within an army. Former Maoist fighters counter they are wholly committed to democracy at the service of elected leaders. I'm Sandeesh Subedi, alias Hardik. I'm platoon vice commander here. I'm from Rolpa district. Since many years, my family are um, means linked to the Maoist party. So I motivated um, from the both sides, um, from the students, uh, friends, and from my father's mothers. Yeah, I was motivated to the Maoist party. Party of Nepal, Maoist uh, is the largest party in Nepal. Nepal army should understand the people's mandate. I think it will not be so hard to integrate. <laughs> we are ready if the government say you are ready to integrate, then we are ready. These ideologically indoctrinated Maoist army competence need to go through a total democratization process if they are to be absorbed or integrated or to be managed within the national institution because the national institutions are to be totally neutral, non-partisan, and they should be away from the politics. They have to uh, change their attitude and they should agree with the fundamental principle of democracy uh, that is the test for Maoist, whether they have changed the objective or they have only changed the strategy to grasp the power. Ideological indoctrinate army cannot enter inside national army. Nepali people fought so long against the despotic regime of the king. That is why the big questions with us is whether Maoist will come in democratic process by their behavior, by their action or not. In past time they were the enemies, but nowadays uh, they are not enemies. Now means um, there is the power uh, equilibrium is changed, you see. Power equilibrium is changed, so uh, Nepal army should um, understand the people's mandate and PLA too. <laughs> United Nations has done great job. Uh, it is great, uh, you know, that uh, potentiality. And there are other parts of the world uh, where, uh, you know, the international community must focus. Uh, nation like us, if we are improving and we can handle ourselves, uh, then the international uh, community's moral obligation is somewhere else rather than here.
Firstly, their mission must be completed. That is, that's half mission is only completed. We have to, UN should complete the full mission. If UN will stay, UN mission will be here, then it will be more convenient. If UN will go, then I think uh, it will be, it may be some danger or what.